Hi, friends and neighbors, and Professor Moynihan, of course. The Liars Club is a fascinating microcosm of college. You want weird, angry girls? Here's looking at you, Kat. Dumb, rich boys? Wilson only goes by his last name, celebrity style. Obnoxious idiots? I can think of at least two. Honestly, I don't know why anyone suspects Erica of anything. She doesn't have the brain power to be an arsonist, and it doesn't take much. You just need to be able to work a lighter. All of this to say, it's nice to know that I'll be getting that A. Now, to all you traitorous witches who acted all shocked about my career choices, no, I haven't been to jail. I can afford bail, I'm not poor. Now for this week's assignment, two lies and a truth. According to Professor M, you lie two times a day on average. I'm pretty sure I bumped the average up. I'm an out liar and shouldn't have been counted. Now, I'm gonna give you three statements two of which are gonna be very honest sounding lies, one will be true. I'll give you a few seconds to make your guesses and then I'll reveal the answers. The winner will receive a car and a kitchen appliance package. Okay, door number one. I tried shoplifting at a mall. It was so dumb. I was new to my middle school, I wanted to make new friends and I didn't wanna be the only one who walked out with nothing. <laughs> then some ponche rent-a-cop caught me. I just remember eating a cinnamon pretzel at the food court and just crying uncontrollably, sure that someone would tell my parents. Door number two. We're gonna get emotional with this one. Honesty is vulnerability, right? Tragedy plus timing is comedy, and irony is when you add metal filings to pasta. Okay, okay, okay. I want my parents to get a divorce. They spend so much time fighting about what my brother Jonathan and sister Maddie should be doing and who gets to have the last word about them. It's not something we talk about face to face and they don't care about my opinion, so. Door number three. I've always been really good at fake crying. I remember in preschool, there was some kid, what's his name, Dylan? Maybe Dylan. Anyways, our preschool didn't have an automatic bell. Instead, we had this bell where two kids had to ring it by pulling on a rope. So, I'm on big bell duty with Dylan, and we start competing about who can pull the rope harder. I just remember pulling the rope so hard that the bell fell off the yoke, or whatever it was called, and it breaks. But I beat Dylan to the punch and immediately start crying. When he tells the teacher it's my fault, I say he's a big, fat liar. Who do you think they believe? Welcome back to Lie, Truth, Lie. It's time for you to place your bets, make your votes. On your mark, get set, go! Now, whether to see if you got it right. What do you think? Truth? Lie? Yep. It was a lie. It happened to a middle school friend who was grabbing beauty supplies for me. She dripped tears and snot all over that stupid cinnamon pretzel. She was really ungrateful about it too. One down, two to go. This one's a hard one. It's even hard for me to decide. The best lies are the ones you practice telling yourself after all. I may have wanted my parents to divorce at one point, but now I don't need them paying attention to me. It might have been nice when I was younger, but now I don't want them poking around in my life vying for my affections. They'll mess with my career trajectory. No thanks. One more to go. I know, timing's a little bit predictable, but I genuinely always have been really good at fake crying. You, you see? It's just, it's, it's too much and I, I don't know what to tell you guys, I just, I'm trying my best. Ta-da! Ooh, ooh, that reminds me. I'm gonna start a new segment for these vlogs. Kat's not the only one who can have themed content. Welcome to Hacting Lessons. Now providing a wealth of information you never knew you needed. Hacking Lessons will give you the know-how to know how to socially hack. Tip number one, the mark is always right. Whether you're playing the part of IT, temp, or Taurus, remember, people don't enjoy someone who's being suspicious. They want you to make sense. They want you to fit into their world. This doesn't necessarily mean that they'll trust you, but they will trust the system. Let them fill in the blanks. Always tell them what they wanna hear. As always, catch me next time, if you can.